guys, what's going on? Jay the Reporter coming at you once again. Now, for those of y'all who missed it, I did go live on Facebook with my homeboy Terrence to talk about some of the things here, but since I haven't reached that level on YouTube where I can actually go live and do it here, I figure I'll go ahead and just shoot some vids for you all's enjoyment. So we're going to hop right into it with, of course, this one topic. We're going to talk about WSSU A&T matchup 2024. Now, for those of y'all who do know, I am a WSSU alum. I love my HBCU. I love Winston-Salem State University. It's a big part of who I am. It helped me become the man I am today. It instilled a lot of that. I met a lot of my best friends through there, a lot of my connections. I joined my fraternity there. I mean, just a ton of things I was able to do there. My love for journalism and sports um, bantering happened there. Happened on a radio show I used to do there. So, kind of hopping into it. Everyone up and down my timeline was yelling and hollering, oh, yeah, I'm going to be there. We're going to love it. Oh, let's go WSSU. It's going to be great. The atmosphere is going to be awesome. Yes, you are correct in that. That is about all that's going to be fun for WSSU fans. And I'm saying that because I care. North Carolina a and and what they've done pretty much since 2012 has made them the model program for the state of North Carolina. Even when you take a good look at what they were able to do, I mean, shoot, just take a look at what UNC's done so far. And a lot of people will say, well, why do you need to take a look at UNC? Because what UNC did was low-key, and I peaked game, Chapel Hill, I peaked game, was low-key modeled after what a t actually did. a t went out, got a legendary coach, said, rebuild this program. We were once a proud university with a great football heritage. Let's rebuild that. Rob Rodway comes in. North Carolina says, we were once a proud program. We had great talent coming through. Let's rebuild that. Come here, Mike. I mean, uh, was it uh, Brown? Uh, your boy from Texas, Mac Brown. Mac Brown. There we go. Let's come on, Mac Brown. Let's rebuild our program here, at Chapel Hill. And that's what they did. Now, everyone says, "Well, you haven't said anything about Winston yet." Get into it. So, with Winston Salem State in this matchup, it is four years from now. From now. But here's the problem. That gives A and T. Four years, people. Count it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four years to get the recruits that they know they can grab by moving out of the MEAC to the Big South. Now, everyone says, but what's that going to do for the rivalries? And that's beautiful. They can schedule two or three of those a year and be just fine. They scheduled WSSU in 2024 for that very reason. Now, I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to love that game. I'm going to be there. I'm going to have on frat shirts. Um, probably have a WSSU bucket hat on. It's going to be awesome. But here's the deal. In that game, what's going to happen is you're going to see the difference in recruiting, money, stature, status. It's the difference in it all in that game. And the reason I say this is because I grew up on a little rivalry called the Aggie Eagle Classic. For those who don't know what that is, that is North Carolina A&T, North Carolina Central University. With this being now going to be that kind of matchup where the difference the, the difference in talent is going to be that, because I grew up, A&T was already in the MEAC, Central was in the CIAA, and the difference was definitely to a certain scale. You can tell the talent difference, the coaching difference. You can tell what difference the money was. You can tell all the differences that were made just because a t was on a different level. And in many cases, that would be a ts one of their two or three wins during the season would come against Central. It's almost like a guaranteed win every time they faced off. And then as soon as Central beat a and I think it was my senior year, I think it was 2005, to the, yeah, fall of 2005, Central beats a and and it also goes on to win NCAA. And that was, that was being led by transfers from Texas and Tennessee, respectively. I can't remember the kids' names, but that's what happened. Now, looking at how a and is going to be grabbing talent, but they're like, hey, man, Winston gets a chance. And, and actually, my boy Terrence in our on Facebook Live video made a very, very key point. He said, hey, Right now, there's an influx of talent coming to HBCUs. You know, you got 
with Jackson State and Deion Sanders and what they're doing. They're bringing guys in. And I'm like, you know what? You have a point. But here's the still going to be the difference. If you got a recruit coming from out of state and you say, hey, you get a chance to play here, North Carolina A&T or here, Winston-Salem State University, and I'm not down in my school whatsoever. But when you're saying you get a chance to play Division Two or Division One and still play the HBCU, which school are you going to pick? If you're that Division One talent and you got an opportunity to still play the HBCU and still play Division One ball, you're going to take that Division One offer, and that's exactly what's going to happen there. So when 2024 rolls around and we have all we have really good talent at Winston State and we're rearing off championships, no, I'm saying this in hopes that this is what happens. And we're just rearing off championships. a and is doing the exact same thing on a larger scale. They'll be playing in bowl games, TV money, all that stuff is coming in. Not to mention the revenue they're going to get from just being in the Big South is going to be huge. Because not to mention, like, when's the last time you caught a me at game on TV? I can turn on TV right now to some random Fox Sports channel and I can probably catch a Big South basketball game. So there's your difference, ladies and gentlemen. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Jada Reporter, signing out. Peace.